the last time you played football manager they're super tactics life was easy all you had to do pop in a tactic go have a coffee and tea maybe a lunch seasons lasted what you could finish the season in an evening yeah all you, it was so simple just find the tactic find the players and off you go you lift the dream you win the titles 70 goals for a striker oh, oh, that wasn't too hard to do back in the day if you have white hair like me and you remember scramjet and diablo then you probably remember the easier days where all we needed to do was find that magic formula that's it we're off we're gonna win we shall turn this merry bench of ragtag useless bunch of players into champions made you feel good now you've decided that you know, you haven't touched the game in a long time. You've popped into the game. You want to see what the fuss is about. And the first thing you do when you load up the game. Oh my God, where do you begin? The staff responsibilities page is probably going to confuse you. Then you go to tactics and you go, oh my goodness, what the heck is going on over here? Yeah, if you start doing this, I don't blame you either. Because uh, for some of us, it might be a bridge too far. Well... I plan to lower the drawbridge for you. Let you cross over the boat and enter the castle where you shall rule. Yeah, maybe that's a bit too much, eh? Uh, yeah, I will try and get you to give you some baby steps to start with. At least get your feet acclimatized. And that's what I'm going to do on today's show. I'm going to try and simplify the game in the best way I can. My name, my name, my name is Daljit. Welcome to the show. Well, you thought I was going to load up the game, right? Uh -uh. No, 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 no. First thing I want you to do, go follow the podcast, The Football Manager Show by The Athletic, hosted by Ian McIntosh. Fantastic podcast done from the perspective of a person who hasn't been playing the game for a long time. They've got insights from Miles. They've got guys from Sports Interactive who come on board to, you know, give you a few little tips and these are all tips that are going to be helpful for a person who hasn't been playing the game for a long time even if you're a veteran player trust me <laughs> there are things there that you can learn if you are old as me you probably don't go around upgrading your computer every single year so you probably have a machine that's maybe 15 years old 20 perhaps mm, I pushing it but i think 15 years old to be safe oh, will your machine be able to run the game well to be honest with you this edition of football manager 21 is pretty good at processing they've improved the processing power of the game so you should be able to run the game but what you will probably need to do is to understand these little stars right the stars basically tell you how much your machine can handle now i found that you know even two and two and a half stars you, you can load a fair number of leagues on a machine that's uh 2004 i've got one at the back of me that's uh that's, yeah it's it doesn't struggle i don't load too many leagues i load like two countries three countries make them all playable and it's fine so what's the difference between playable and view only it's basically the realism of the simulation behind the game right so playable is a lot more accurate than view only will it change your game drastically no if you haven't been playing the game for a long time don't worry about the differences between the two the next thing you want to do is check this button. It's the fog of war, right? When you check the button, all the attributes become visible. This is something that is going to be a bit easier for you if you haven't been playing the game for a long time. If you want the immersion level and you just want to not know the attributes, but you want to find out over time, fine. But it's going to make your job a lot easier if you check this little button. Next, you're going to have a chance to choose your manager profile. Now, if you haven't been playing this game for a really long time, you have several options. You can make the game more interesting by being a manager with no badges, but it does also affect uh, your ability to double as a coach. So if you haven't been playing this game for like anything like five or six years, then I would suggest leaving it on default and just going from there. It's not going to be the end of the world. I get this question quite a lot. Which club should I manage? It's straightforward. Don't pick an underdog. Just don't pick an underdog. 
Don't go LLM, lower league management. It's going to be a big challenge. Pick a club that is a contender. At least give yourself a chance to learn the game. Right? Otherwise, it's a bridge too far if you decide to go down to lower league as your first challenge, having not played the game for the last eight years. The game also comes with in-game tutorials. Yes, they were. I mean, way back in Champ Man days, we didn't have this, right? So everybody had to learn the hard way. Now they have tutorials. So if you, you know, choose the tutorials you want, they get sent into your inbox and they stagger this. So it's not too bad. It's pretty nice to have if you are new to the game. Very early in the game, you're going to get a chance to meet the board. The board is going to lay down the law in terms of a club vision. You'll have preferred targets and you have required targets. So the required targets are the ones that you can't afford to miss. And one tip, don't negotiate. That's the, the very first act that you do when you go and meet the board. Is it's not a really good thing to do. And when you meet your boys, in, uh, you're going to get a chance to meet them. And the boys, uh, you're going to get this uh, introduction to your squad. During the introduction to the squad, if you're not sure what to click on, just hit all it. Just pick anything that is neutral. Again, the goal here is not to overpromise and underdeliver. It is to underpromise and overdeliver. You can't go wrong with that. A long time ago in a land far, far away, we had Scramjet and we had Diablo. So if you're old enough to remember that, I understand how you feel. Uh, you want a simple tactic that will just go on and win you all the titles. What you want to do is you don't want to fuss about tactics too much. You're thinking to yourself, this game is, I want it to be easy for me, right? They've made it easy because now when you go to create a tactic, which is one of the first things you do in the game, the assistant manager actually recommends tactics for you. You've got presets there for different kinds of styles. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to work too hard. And um, the beautiful thing is when it comes to choosing players as well for your tactics, it ain't that hard anymore. Because if you've got something called rollability, if you haven't been playing this game for a long time, trust me, you want to trust rollability as much as you can. Because in the old days, we used to go to the team report, ignore team report now. Just go to rollability because it ranks your players based on their familiarity with the position and their general ability for that role. So if you're looking to play a complete forward and you don't know which of your players in the cl club is good enough, well, just click on the button and it'll tell you how they rank. And that's where you can start from. Get to know your squad and i'll tell you what it's going to be really important you're going to want to get to know your players in terms of their hidden attributes you want to know which of your players is consistent which of your players has got a competitive streak in them reason is it's very simple these hidden attributes play a big part in the game a player who's inconsistent may put in performances great performances in one game and then you know fade away some players can be very um they pick up yellow cards every other game. You might have a high aggression and they might have a competitive streak. And these kind of players are dangerous to play with because they can get themselves sent off. So get, get going with the coach reports. And that's really the one thing they're going to look at. So before you even look at a player uh, and see his star ratings or his scouting recommendations, learn how to look at the coaching report. And this is the best thing I'm going to give you. What about club DNA and all that stuff that's flying around? You get a lot of people talking about the important attributes that you want to have. Well, there is some logic to that. However, what you want to remember is this. You want players to work as a unit. So you're looking at work rate. You want players to fight to the last whistle. You want determination. You want defenders who at least have the brains to know where they're going to be standing. You want positioning. You also want attackers who can be found easily with a pass. You want off the ball. And then you don't want a slow team, you want acceleration. That's it. Those are attributes you want to focus on first when you start this game. You're going to have plenty of things that you can do in this game, right? But you haven't been playing this game for a long time. Chances are you're going to be overwhelmed when you come to this page. These are all the staff responsibilities at the page. I, I'm telling you this much, okay? Even me, after all these years of playing the game, I kind of get a bit overwhelmed when I come to this page. It becomes really easy if you learn how to delegate. However, when you're starting out the game for the first time, my recommendation is to try a bit of everything and then delegate maybe a week later, two weeks later. Once you've got your feet a bit muddied and you understand what's going on here and you're going on and you find the small little things that you like and the ones that you dislike, delegate them. 
I personally delegate my team talks. I delegate my press conferences. I delegate all these things because I don't enjoy them at all. I've been playing the game for a really long time and I don't have the time to sit down and look at a screen like this going for press conferences. And I don't really think team talks are gonna, you know, when you're just starting out the game, you don't need to be the king of the team talk, right? You don't have to be a motivational genius. All you need to figure out is which players to take off, which players to put on, who are the players, who are your best 11. That is what you're going to be focusing on. Don't worry about team talks either. Allow yourself some room to grow, right? And re reduce the pressure that you feel. Because chances are team talks, those guys are going to do a pretty decent job. So what do you look for in your staff? Look for motivating from your staff and they'll be able to handle team talks as well. So, the game has been, the game has, as I have done a really good job of allowing you to play the game the way you want to play the game. You don't have to do everything in the game. In fact, that is the reason why seasons can last very, very long in the game. Some seasons can take a long time. In the old days of Champ Man, we could finish a season in one evening. Now try doing that with all the other tasks that you have to do. If you want to have that one, se one season evening kind of game, then you need to delegate. When you, try, when you start understanding your players a bit more and you start look, finding out there are some players with a competitive streak, you know, you got to be very careful with this player. But how do you, you know, you can't remember everything in the game, can you? Well, learn this shortcut key. It's called Control K. Creates a note straight away. Bang, the note comes up. Right there. Write whatever you want. You can give it an acronym or you can write, you know, a long love story inside there about a certain player. Learn how to use the notebook. I've been talk I've been screaming about this since day one. The moment as I introduced this feature, I mean, I've been saying this is the greatest feature it, the game has ever had. The notebook allows you to track your own players with a small little dot on the screen. I know it's not very big, but it's enough. Once you mouse over the dot, you will see your your the the title of your note, and that's usually enough. And you can track your players like this. You can track uh, targets that you want to scout. You can leave short little reminders for yourself on a certain date if you want to sign a player. These are off. This is a fantastic uh, tool in the game for you to manage your career. Well, the next thing is the million dollar question. What do we do with training? You delegate it, you do it all yourself. There's not, there's no, the thing, beautiful thing about training is it's organic. You know, the game, training was idiot proofed. Really, you can't really break the training module. You can't, you can do, you can try all kinds of things. They all will work. So trust me when I say this, right? You can delegate it. Give it to the assistant manager. Let him get on with the program. Let him enjoy himself. He goes out there, he creates a training program. And all you got to do is add in match preparation activities for a big match. So you've got a match, you are playing as Arsenal and you got Manchester United away coming up. So what do you do? You go in there, add in match preparation activities for the big match. Maybe you want them to spend a bit more time working on the defensive shape. Um, give yourself a bonus for the attacking movement because all these add up for that game. That's all you need to do. As I've introduced something called XG analysis to the game. It will tell you how to evaluate your own tactic, how you can evaluate your performances during a match. These numbers change during the course of the game, right? What you want to pay attention to are the variances. If you have a big variance, then you know you created a good chance. The variance you're looking for is at least 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is a good chance, right? 0 0.3 and higher is probably going to be a clear-cut chance or a really great chance. So these are the variances you want to look for. If your tactic is producing 0.0, one zero and less because these small little splits as you go up in the xg short story then your team wasn't creating a lot of good chances so you might want to consider you know changing the tactic around having a look at the tactic but at least this tool allows you to identify whether it's your tactic or your players this is important to remember because if you have a tactic that's creating you a good xg right and you, you see the XG ratings are pretty decent. Then you want to look at the pl specific player as a striker because sometimes these players will have their own XG as well. And you can actually tell this in the game. So if you look at the players, you can have a you can check the you can add this to a custom view. The custom view will tell you how many goals this guy was expected to score. 
Yeah, great chances. Maybe he's got a very good XG, expected goal, but his output could be lower. So perhaps this player is a good candidate for training. Yeah, finishing. Or maybe he's not good enough to play in that position, so we'll put in somebody else. It's a phenomenal tool. And I recommend uh, at least understanding the concept. And once you understand the concept, then as you go, you get better at the game. And you encounter other little tools in the game from the analyst report, including defensive efficiency and attacking efficiency. I actually use this for scouting. <laughs> because it tells me whether a team is leaky or not. It's a fantastic little tool. I go in there, it tells me, oh, ooh, I see, you're a bit leaky. I'm going to hammer you. <laughs> so I go in there and I just have a lot of fun with tactics. These are small little things in the game that can help us along the way. XG can be fantastic, right? But there's something about XG that people also need to understand. XG can be different against different formations. Okay, so if you go into this game, you might generate a high XG because your formation actually plays better against a 4-4-2. Then you take your formation and you go and play against a 5-3-2 and the XG rating there is a lot lower. Does it mean that your tactic is not good? Maybe against that formation, maybe. You might need to tweak your system a bit, but at least XG gives you the option to understand things in the game a bit more effectively. In the old days, when we wanted to sign players, it's just a simple thing of just you not know, finding a player, signing him, right? There's something cool about FM21. It's called social media. Can't believe I was gonna say this, man. Whenever you want to sign a player up, you can talk the player up in social media. Now check this out. You can also view a match. So you can go to one of his games, view the match. Now, if your reputation is high enough, right, the press might get wind of you being at that match. because, And then because you talked up that player, he might go, ooh, he's coming to look at the player. He might be very serious about signing this player. And that player could go, oh, here for me. I might want to sign for him. So these are cool little things that have been added to the game. And I... Yeah, it's fun. It's a fun thing to do. I'm sure that there are people out there who are disappointed that I didn't dive deeper into some of these features, but I wanted to headline these features so people at least know what to look for when they go into their, their saves. Because if you want to see a deeper dive, then I've done YouTube live stream shows here, which are you know, getting started with uh, different kinds of clubs. Uh, I do them as a live stream, and you can see how I start my saves. And you, you will see that there's a pattern that I follow. I did one where I delegated everything and I just started the save almost immediately and then started turning on small little features as I go. There's so many ways to play the game. There's no right and wrong way. And there's going to be, um, you, you're going to find a lot of videos out there that give you different tips and tricks. And all of them are great content creators with great little videos. So I do encourage checking other videos out as well and, you know, getting a different perspective because there's no my way that is the best way there's no such thing everybody is gonna have their own best way of playing the game just depends on which one you prefer so i want to thank everybody for popping in on today's show your support carrying this channel has been absolutely fantastic i stream as often as i can on youtube please hit the like the subscribe button notification bell to know when i stream i also stream on twitch and you know, if you have any questions, you can always look me up on Twitter at Bustanet or addicted to fm.com. On Twitch, I'll most likely be streaming on weekends. Occasionally, I do a surprise stream. Like, you know, I find that some of the guys out there want to hit partnership. I'll jump in, I'll stream, and then I'll time my stream to end just as they are starting there so I can, you know, help them hit partnership as quickly as I can. As, you know, as quickly as they can, rather. So I want to thank everybody for coming on today's show. You have been absolutely fantastic. Your support of this channel has been unbelievable. I, I'm, st I'm still here after all these years. Yeah, You guys, don't forget the Football Manager podcast from The Athletic. You have to subscribe to this. It's free. Free content, right? Okay, just go there. Check them out. Just listen. If you haven't been playing for a long time, pop that little podcast into your car. As you're driving down the road, you hear... Ian McIntosh. Occasionally, you might hear Miles Jacobson, Tom Davidson, and some of the other guys at SI. I'm sure they're going to have a lot of other guys from SI. They haven't covered everybody. I know there are, there are other guys there that are just waiting for their chance to have their say too. So, guys, you have been absolutely fantastic. Hope you enjoyed today's show. You guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.
Uh, hey, we managed to pull one back. The boys are beginning to believe the tangerine dream. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Conway, we are playing the ridiculous, unbelievable firestorm. <laughs> we don't even know it's going to work, but yeah, man. We're stunned. Ah, no. Oh, we knew that was going to happen. It's Dembele again. What do we have to do to keep this guy out of this Oh man, it's Dembele one more time. Okay, we're gonna do something about Dembele now. We are really gonna get, we are getting a really upset with Dembele. We are going to tackle this guy. We're gonna take him out again. Okay, yeah, this is my, okay, done. Okay, we gotta mark one of these guys out of the game. Okay, Bolton. Mark opposition, I think it's the. 4231 is the AMR. Managed to fight back into this game, right? We were not playing very well. This boy, yeah! He's offside, he's offside, he's offside. <laughs> Come on, boys. Logan Chalmers, the substitute has done well. Okay, boys, now I want you to focus. Don't lose the plot. Come on. Okay. Oh man, what a comeback. Come on, boys. We're gonna focus. I can't hit the focus button again. Shanklin, you piece of shit. <laughs> Get up the pitch. <laughs> no! Come on, boys. Edwards, the Matt Smith. Matt Smith to Chalmers. Chalmers brings the ball wide. He goes in. It's clock. It's gonna be a four. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. I'm shouting. My baby just woke up. 